The Compact Linear Collider is a concept for a future linear particle accelerator that aims to explore the next energy frontier. Click would collide electrons with positrons and is currently the only mature option for a multi-TeV linear collider. The accelerator would be between 11 and 50 km 7 and 31 miles long, more than 10 times longer than the existing Stanford Linear Accelerator in California, USA. Click is proposed to be built at CERN, across the border between France and Switzerland near Geneva, with RST beams starting by the time the Large Hadron Collider LHC has niche operations around 2035. The Click accelerator would use a novel two-beam acceleration technique at an acceleration gradient of 100 MeV per meter, and its staged construction would provide collisions at three center of mass energies up to 3 TeV for optimal physics reach. Cutting-edge research and development R&D are being carried out in the study to achieve the high-precision physics goals under challenging beam and background conditions. Click aims to discover new physics beyond the standard model of particle physics, through precision measurements of standard model properties as well as direct detection of new particles. The collider would offer superior sensitivity to electroweak states, exceeding the predicted precision of the full LHC program. The current click design includes the possibility for electron beam polarization, further constraining the underlying physics. The click study produced a conceptual design report (CDR) in 2012 and is working to present the case for the click concept for the next update of the European Strategy for Particle Physics in 2019-2020. Topic. Background There are two main types of particle colliders, which differ in the types of particles they collide, lepton colliders and hadron colliders. Each type of collider can produce different NAL states of particles and can study different physics phenomena. Examples of hadron colliders are ISR at CERN, SPS at CERN, Tevatron in United States, and the LHC at CERN. Examples of lepton colliders are Super Kekebi in Japan, BEPC2 in China, Daphne in Italy, VEPP in Russia, SLAC in United States, and Large Electron Positron Collider at CERN. Some of these lepton colliders are still running. Hadrons are compound objects, which leads to more complicated collision events and limits the achievable precision of physics measurements. Lepton colliders collide fundamental particles, therefore the initial state of each event is known and higher precision measurements can be achieved. Topic. Three energy stages Click is foreseen to be built and operated in three stages with different center of mass energies, 380 GeV, 1.5 TeV, and 3 TeV. The luminosities at each stage are expected to be 500 Fb-1, 1.5 Ab-1, and 3 Ab-1 respectively, providing a broad physics program over a 22-year period. These center of mass energies have been motivated by current LHC data and physics potential studies carried out by the CLIC study. Already at 380 GeV, CLIC has good coverage of standard model physics. The energy stages beyond this allow for the discovery of new physics as well as increased precision of standard model processes. Additionally, CLIC will operate at the top quark pair production threshold around 350 GeV with the aim of precisely measuring the properties of the top quark. Topic. Physics case for CLIC The Click Linear Collider would allow the exploration of new energy frontiers, provide possible solutions to unanswered problems, and enable the discovery of phenomena beyond our current understanding. Topic. Higgs physics The current LHC data suggest that the particle found in 2012 is the Higgs boson as predicted by the standard model of particle physics. 
However, the LHC can only partially answer questions about the true nature of this particle, such as its composite, fundamental nature, coupling strengths, and possible role in an extended electroweak sector. Click could examine these questions in more depth by measuring the Higgs couplings to a precision not achieved before. The 380 GeV stage of CLIC allows, for example, accurate model-independent measurements of Higgs boson couplings to fermions and bosons through the higgs strelung and WW fusion production processes. The second and third stages give access to phenomena such as the Tapiakawa coupling, rare Higgs decays and the Higgs self-coupling. Top quark physics The top quark, the heaviest of all known fundamental particles, has currently never been studied in electron-positron collisions. The Click Linear Collider plans to have an extensive top quark physics program. A major aim of this program would be a threshold scan around the top quark pair production threshold approximately 350 GeV to precisely determine the mass and other Signy Kant properties of the top quark. For this scan, CLIC currently plans to devote 15% of the running time of the RST stage, collecting 100 Fb-1. This study would allow the top quark mass to be ascertained in a theoretically well-dined manner and at a higher precision than possible with hadron colliders. Click would also aim to measure the top quark electroweak couplings to the Z boson and the photon, as deviations of these values from those predicted by the standard model could be evidence of new physics phenomena, such as extra dimensions. Further observation of top quark decays with Avor changing neutral currents at click would be an indirect indication of new physics, as these should not be seen by click under current standard model predictions. Topic new phenomena Click could discover new physics phenomena either through indirect measurements or by direct observation. Large deviations in precision measurements of particle properties from the standard model prediction would indirectly signal the presence of new physics. Such indirect methods give access to energy scales far beyond the available collision energy, reaching sensitivities of up to tens of TeV. Examples of indirect measurements CLIC would be capable of at 3 TeV are, the detection of a Z boson reach up to approximately 30 TeV indicating a simple gauge extension beyond the standard model, the Higgs composite scale lambda reach up to approximately 70 TeV to determine the elementary or composite nature of the Higgs boson, and vector boson scattering sensitivity of the effective field theory operators alpha 4, alpha 5. Topic. Beams and accelerators To reach the desired 3 TeV beam energy, while keeping the length of the accelerator compact, CLIC targets an accelerating gradient up to 100 MV per meter. Click is based on normal conducting acceleration cavities operated at room temperature, as they allow for higher acceleration gradients than superconducting cavities. With this technology, the main limitation is the high voltage breakdown rate, BDR, which follows the empirical law. B D R E 30 Tau 5 Display style BDR Propto E carrot 30 Tau carrot 5 Where E Display style E is the accelerating gradient and tau display style tau is the rf pulse length the high accelerating gradient and the target bdr value 3 times 107 pulse minus 1 meter minus 1 drive most of the beam parameters and machine design in order to reach these high accelerating gradients while keeping the power consumption affordable, CLIC makes use of a novel two-beam acceleration scheme, a so-called drive beam runs parallel to the colliding main beam. The drive beam is decelerated in special devices called power extraction and transfer structures pets that extract energy from the drive beam in the form of powerful radio frequency RF waves, which is then used to accelerate the main beam. 
Up to 90% of the energy of the drive beam is extracted and efficiently transferred to the main beam. Topic. Main beam The electrons needed for the main beam are produced by illuminating a gauze-type cathode with a Q-switched polarized laser, and are longitudinally polarized at the level of 80%. The positrons for the main beam are produced by sending a 5 GeV electron beam on a tungsten target. After an initial acceleration up to 2.86 GeV, both electrons and positrons enter damping rings for emittance reduction by radiation damping. Both beams are then further accelerated to 9 GeV in a common booster line ACK. Long transfer lines transport the two beams to the beginning of the main line axe where they are accelerated up to 1.5 TeV before going into the beam delivery system BSD, which squeezes and brings the beams into collision. The two beams collide at the IP with 20 mRad crossing angle in the horizontal plane. Topic. Drive beam. Each drive beam complex is composed of a 2.5 km long line ACK, followed by a drive beam recombination complex, a system of delay lines and combiner rings where the incoming beam pulses are interleaved to ultimately form a 12 GHz sequence and a local beam current as high as 100 A. Each 2.5 km long drive beam line ACK is powered by 1 GHz klystrons. This produces a 148 microseconds long beam for the 1.5 TeV energy stage scenario with a bunching frequency of 0.5 GHz. Every 244 nanoseconds the bunching phase is switched by 180 degrees, i.e. odd and even buckets at 1 GHz are LLED alternately. This phase coding allows the RST factor 2 recombination, the odd bunches are delayed in a delay loop DL, while the even bunches bypass it. The time of flight of the DL is about 244 nanoseconds and tuned at the picosecond level such that the two trains of bunches can merge, forming several 244 ns long trains with bunching frequency at 1 GHz, separated by 244 nanoseconds of empty space. This new time structure allows for further factor 3 and factor 4 recombination in the following combiner rings with a similar mechanism as in the DL. The NAL time structure of the beam is made of several up to 24 244 ns long trains of bunches at 12 GHz, spaced by gaps of about 5.5 microseconds. The recombination is timed such that each combined train arrives in its own decelerator sector, synchronized with the arrival of the main beam. The use of low frequency 1 GHz, long pulse length 148 microseconds, klystrons for accelerating the drive beam and the beam recombination makes it more convenient than using klystrons to directly accelerate the main beam. Topic. Test facilities The main technology challenges of the click accelerator design have been successfully addressed in various test facilities. The drive beam production and recombination, and the two beam acceleration concept were demonstrated at the click test facility 3 CTF3. X-band high-power klystron-based RF sources were built in stages at the High Gradient X-band Test Facility Xbox, CERN. These facilities provide the RF power and infrastructure required for the conditioning and very cation of the performance of click accelerating structures, and other X-band-based projects. Additional X-band high gradient tests are being carried out at the NEXTEF facility at KEK and at SLAC. A new test stand is being commissioned at Tsinghua University and further test stands are being constructed at INFN Frascati and SINAP in Shanghai. Topic click detector A state-of-the-art detector is essential to Pro-T from the complete physics potential of click. The current detector design, named ClickDet, has been optimized via full simulation studies and R&D activities. 
The detector follows the standard design of grand particle detectors at high energy colliders, a cylindrical detector volume with a layered congeration, surrounding the beam axis. Clickdet would have dimensions of approximately 13 by 12 meters height x length and weigh approximately 8,000 tons. Topic. Detector layers Clickdet consists of four main layers of increasing radius, vertex and tracking system, calorimeters, solenoid magnet, muon detector. The vertex and tracking system is located at the innermost region of clickdet and aims to detect the position and momenta of particles with minimum adverse impact on their energy and trajectory. The vertex detector is cylindrical with three double layers of detector materials at increasing radii and has three segmented disks at each end in a spiral congeration to aid air out cooling. These are assumed to be made of 25 by 25 square micrometers silicon pixels of thickness 50 micrometers, and the aim is to have a single point resolution of 3 micrometers. The tracking system is made of silicon sensor modules expected to be 300 micrometers thick. The calorimeters surround the vertex and tracking system and aim to measure the energy of particles via absorption. The electromagnetic calorimeter ECAL consists approximately 40 layers of silicon tungsten in a sandwich structure. The hadronic calorimeter HCAL has 60 steel absorber plates with scintillating material inserted in between. These inner clickdet layers are enclosed in a superconducting solenoid magnet with a eld strength of 4T. This magnetic eld bends charged particles, allowing for momentum and charge measurements. The magnet is then surrounded by an iron yoke which would contain large area detectors for muon identa cation. The detector also has a luminosity calorimeter lumical to measure the products of Baba scattering events, a beam calorimeter to complete the ECAL coverage down to 10 m rads polar angle, and an intratrain feedback system to counteract luminosity loss due to correct for relative beam-beam offsets. Topic. Power pulsing and cooling Strict requirements on the material budget for the vertex and tracking system does not allow the use of conventional liquid cooling systems for clickdet. Therefore, it is proposed that a dry gas cooling system will be used for this inner region. Air gaps have been factored into the design of the detector to allow the OW of the gas, which will be air or nitrogen. To allow for effective air cooling, the average power consumption of the silicon sensors in the vertex detector needs to be lowered. Therefore, these sensors will operate via a current-based power pulsing scheme, switching the sensors from a high to low power consumption state whenever possible, corresponding to the 50 Hz bunch train crossing rate. Topic. Status. As of 2017, approximately 2% of the CERN annual budget is invested in the development of CLIC technologies. The RST stage of CLIC with a length of around 11 kilometers 7 miles is currently estimated at a cost of 6 to 7 billion CHF. CLIC is a global project of more than 70 institutes in more than 30 countries. It consists of two collaborations, the Click Detector and Physics Collaboration CLICDP, and the Click Accelerator Study. Click is currently in the development stage, conducting performance studies for accelerator parts and systems, detector technology and optimization studies, and physics analysis. In parallel, the collaborations are working with the theory community to evaluate the physics potential of Click. The Click project has produced a conceptual design report (CDR) in 2012 and is working to present the case for the Click concept for the next update of the European Strategy for Particle Physics in 2019-2020. Topic: See also Future Circular Collider